based off your experience in kind of getting the ATP off the ground, the Wimbledon boycott in 1973, what sort of pieces need to be in place for major change to happen in the sport of tennis? Well, maybe this uh, COVID-19 might be a major piece to start the whole thing because players are realized, I hope the players realize that uh, the game has just escalated dramatically and the opportunities for tennis players have been fantastic. Now, with the fact that we're not only having a health issue, but economically, uh, the, those smaller tournaments particularly uh, are really suffering. And the bigger tournaments like uh, the French and, and the U.S. Open, the ones that didn't have the foresight to get insurance in case the event was closed, uh, are, are, are suffering because of the huge prize money that has been offered to the players. And so I hate to be an older guy saying, oh, these guys get too much prize money. But I think the guys now are starting to understand that, you know, you need to have 100, 250 players out there playing to really keep the game going in the future. And players like Laver, Rosewall, even going back to Budge and Vines and Kramer and Gonzalez, those guys really made the game possible for these young guys that are making millions of dollars. And, and these young guys are great guys, and, and, and they're realizing that they need to give back. And so we've been talking about that with, with young players who are trying to give back, but, but now they're realizing that it's idle for their peers and the younger guys following them that uh, this game is very healthy.